Callum, you get to lift the league trophy this weekend. Finally, how will you feel? Yeah, amazing. Um, you know, I'm so looking forward to it. I've hardly slept since since Wednesday night, to be honest. Um, just keep getting up at six in the morning, ready to go, and then and attack the next day. So it's been brilliant. Um, can't wait. Uh, can't wait for the game tomorrow. You know, boys will hopefully finish with a strong performance, and and then we'll enjoy the celebrations and, and lifting that trophy will be, you know, an immensely proud moment. You've been at the club for for so long. You were a ball boy. There's some pictures doing the rounds. You can see you're such a young boy. It's an incredible story for any youngster wanting to make their way in a game. Yeah, you know, I'm just super lucky and, and super fortunate that, you know, like you said, I've I've been a ball boy. I've been a fan of the club, and and to go and and, and live any boy's dream, um, right through to you know winning trophies and and now captain in the club and. And obviously going to lift my first league title as captain at the weekend, um, along with this group of players who have been amazing for me as well. Um, you know, I'm just living the dream. How satisfying was it to finally get the title over the line before the last day of the season so you can just completely enjoy this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the last few minutes were a bit nervy. But once the final whistle went, you know, that was a, a total elation and relief and everything else. Um, Brilliant moment, you know, the, the, you've seen the, the scenes, the celebrations afterwards as well, the players meant everything to them, it meant everything to the supporters and, and like you say, we can now go and enjoy, obviously we want to put on a show in, in terms of, you know, the actual game and, and performance of the group, um, but we can fully enjoy it as well. The plan was for you just to come back in the team bus from Tannadice and come back to Celtic Park and pick up your cars from the car park and then just drive home. At what point on the way back from Tannadice did you realise there were thousands of Celtic fans waiting for you at Celtic Park? It was quite funny actually, we, we, uh, the security, Churchy came up and he, and he says, uh, I think there's a couple of hundred fans back at the stadium. You know, I mean, he can be careful and that, blah, blah, blah. And he goes back five minutes later and he goes, it's about 500 people in there. Five minutes later, it goes back up again. I think it's up to 2,000. So it just kept growing every five minutes and, and, and like I, I touched on earlier on, it's you know, an amazing effort for the supporters to, to come back off the back of the game, you know, one o'clock at night. Probably the majority of them working the next day, um, going in a bit tired, a few sore heads as well. Um, but, you know, that's what it means to them as well. And, and to give them those sort of special nights is, is what we play football for. It's why we play for this club. They, they were there last season. You were there last season. Are you amazed at how quick the turnaround has been? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, from, from where the club was in the summer, a lot of uncertainty as, as, as where we were going, what direction we were going in. And, and again, the manager's come in, he's been absolutely first class in terms of direction, authority, the vision that he has for the club. And then the players to come in and actually execute that uh, the first time asking is hugely impressive as well. How satisfying do you think it is for the manager? He won't really you know, big himself up too much, but how satisfying do you think it must be for him to come into a huge club like this, where people are saying you're going to be sacked by Christmas and you have the effect that he has? Yeah, of course, you know, he he's an intelligent guy. I think, you know, privately he, he'll understand how big an achievement that is and, and that's a sign of him, you know, he'll never tell anyone. Um, but I'm sure in his, in his private moments and, you know, his family, um, you know, I know that they'll be super proud of him as well in, in terms of what he's given the club. and and the success that he's had, so you know, we've got a lot to thank him for as well.